What's up, ladies and gentlemen out there, everybody out here on YouTube? I want to go over what uh, is going on here. Basically, I'm going to show you what it looks like the next day after I got this inverter. And what you can see here is the uh, bottom left hand side. You can see at 7 p.m., I started the inverter last night. Of course, everybody was there with me. Thank everybody for showing up. Appreciate it. I started it up. You can see how it dips down and goes around and goes up and down. And then, um, you know, it starts to flatline and go down slowly. And once it's flat, starting to flatline, it's around 11.45, which is when the refrigerator turns off at night. And all the refrigerators are on a timer that turns off at 11.45 for the last time. And... Then it, it comes back on around 6 o'clock in the morning. Now, before 6 o'clock, I was awake. I went ahead and turned my laptop on, had some lights on and stuff like that. So it slowly drained down a little bit more. And you can see that's the voltage, by the way. So let's go ahead and, you know, stay focused on what's going on here. You know... I've got uh, coffee being brewed at 6.30. You can see I took a picture on the top left-hand corner of the coffee being brewed at 6.30, and we're still at 83%. I'm brewing coffee in the morning. And you can see our net charge at 6.15 before I started brewing coffee was 105 amp hours. Consumed, cu currently, um, it's at 125 amp hours consumed, but we are currently making power too. It's 247 watts coming in at 808 a.m. And you can see that we're progressing a lot with this. I cannot believe how much more efficient this unit is than the other unit. In fact, it is so much more efficient that you can actually reduce the battery size that you would need. Now, I've I currently own 12 batteries that are 6 volt golf cart batteries, so that makes no sense. I can't run 6 volt golf cart batteries with 12 at 48 volts because this is a 48 volt inverter. So I took out 4 batteries, and this is what it is already. Can you believe that? Before, I couldn't make it till 11 to 12 o'clock at night, and now it's 83%, and I've ran it all night long i was going to 75 percent every single day before i was you know going with with the situation before and i just can't believe how much more efficient this inverter is to the other inverter was i disappointed with the situation i had with the inverter exploding in my face yes but to be honest with you it's worth it the inverter is so much more efficient that I don't even have to turn it off. Don't even have to turn it off. I'm going to get another battery bank just to double my power that I can consume at night because I'm a gamer. And don't get me wrong, I was playing games till 1 o'clock in the morning. No, I was watching. And, and by the way, I run my laptop all night long. It doesn't even shut off. My laptop stays on all night. I leave it on, I fall asleep watching Netflix, and it used about 50 to 80 watts. At night, I was consuming about 180 watts all night long with uh, the laptop and my phone chargers. All the phones was being charged, so that's about 10, to, uh, 10, 15 watts or so from all the phones in the house being charged, not including the laptop. Laptop is probably about 50 to 80 watts. 50 watts when it's you know doing regular stuff. 80 watts when it's under a load i want you guys to know what's going on with this system i hope you guys like it and also i want you to check out uh, some other videos i've got uh, they're they're really great videos and i'm really appreciating all the time that you've spent with me so far and i just want to say thank you this Philip 20 with solar power electricity electric hello lazy to get gentlemen thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video there's lots more content coming click the subscribe button below make sure you come back for more because there's great content always coming up every day in this channel see you next time peace